for the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order. What's up guys? And here and today, I'm going to be showing you guys this deck profile of the brand new tag team Broski and Sylveon. Or Garbor and Sylveon, if those of you guys here who don't know what I mean by that. So basically, quick little backstory. I was always about calling Gardevoir Broski instead of like the whole Bay or Waifu thing, just because it was played out to death. So on this channel, Gardevoir is always Broski. So this is one of the tag team Pokemon that we got from Unbroken Bonds, and honestly, it's a pretty good one. Like all of its moves are pretty dang good. First one being Fairy Song, searching your deck for two Fairy Energy and attaching them to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. It's a lot like Xerneas' Geomancy that we got in XY, but it's better because you can attach two energy to one Pokemon. Whereas with Xerneas, you had to attach the two energy to two separate Pokemon. So that's pretty cool that you have the option. The second attack is going to be the main one we focus on here, and that's going to be Kaleidostorm. 150 damage, and you move around any number of fairy energy from your Pokemon to your other Pokemon any way you want. So it, it's a built-in Aromatisse in an attack, so that's really cool. And the GX move here is Magical Miracle. Three Fairy does 200 damage, and if this Pokemon has three extra Fairy energy attached to it, your opponent has to shovel their entire hand into their deck. So not only are you taking a knockout on a Pokemon, they're going to be left with no hand after that. So that's just going to completely kill our opponent there. And there are a few ways you can build this deck. Like you make, you can build this in support with the Garvor GX stuff that we got from Burning Shadows, or you can make it this standalone right here to pair it up with the Mismagius. Now this is actually a common partner for quite a few tag team Pokemon now. Mainly because of two reasons. The first one being its ability, Mystery Message. Once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have seven in your hand. If you drew any cards in this way, this Pokemon is knocked out. So it's a nice way to help you draw something. Yes, you have to give up a prize to your opponent, but in the long run, that really is not a big deal. The other reason why we're doing this is because of Dusk Stone. Now, this is a brand new tool that we got from Unbroken Bonds, and this one's also a really doozy card. You search your deck for Miss Magius, Hans Crow, Chandelure, or Age of Slash, including Pokemon GX. So it could be a GX or a non GX version of those that evolves from any Pokemon play and put it on top of it. And you can use this the first turn you put down a pre evolve. So, if I were to go ahead and bench the Mischievous on my first turn, I could go ahead and play the Dusk Stone. Go immediately into the Mismagius, use its ability to draw until I have 7. And that does play out quite a bit for the whole prize thing at first because it lets us use Lieutenant Surge much more consistently. You can play this card only if you have more prizes remaining than your opponents, and you get to play 3 supporters this turn. So going off with this, we're not going to be taking any immediate prizes, so we're going to go ahead and use that to our advantage to play out our supporters with Lieutenant Surge and just go off doing everything we need to do and everything else you see here is pretty standard i've got the energy recycler i've got the four energy switch because energy placement is very important in this deck got the wondrous labyrinth making anything that's not fairy cost one more energy to attack very useful there got four greens exploration because this this kind of deck is perfect for it because the only ability we have is the mischievous and that's going to be knocked out when we use it so we're never going to consistently have an ability on the field which green exploration will always be live. So, really, really good card. This is honestly like. It's a little weird because, in most cases, yeah, starting with a lily is great. But with decks like this, you almost rather start with the green than the lily. It's a little weird, I know, because who doesn't want to draw eight? But for this kind of a deck, it's almost better that way. And as I said, which everything else is pretty standard. We got a two rescue stretcher, the nest ball, ultra ball. Got our Cynthia. I have one copy of Diantha here, just because it's pretty useful. We definitely don't want any of our fairy Pokemon knocked out because they're going to give three prizes. But if it does happen, we're able to play a Diantha, take two cards from our discard now into our hand. So, what would be really cool is if that. Not really cool, but it's a good backup plan if one of our Gardevoirs gets knocked out. We go for the Lieutenant Surge, go for a Diantha, and go for any other supporter we need to. That's her. So. That about covers the nit and gritty of the deck. Now let's get into some battles so you guys can see how the deck works. Alright guys, match number one here. And I see fire. Anything fire, that could be quite a few things. I'm gonna say it's Reshizard. 
because I saw the color list there, and I know some Rush Guard decks like to play with Mill Tank. So that's gonna be my guess here. Though it can honestly be almost any fire deck, because fire in general is just too strong right now. Let's see, was that right? What? That's a ditto from Detective Pikachu. Was not expecting that. Gonna be honest, that threw me off. Let's see, copy anything. Choose one of your opponent's attacks and use it as this attack. It doesn't have any necessary energy to use that attack. It does nothing. It's just one of, yeah, it's one of my attacks. So, was that? I mean, I kind of get it because fire is so popular right now. Then having a Ditto be able to use the Reshi's art attack, I, I, I could see it. I do kind of get it. Ooh, he's gonna be able to go for a flare starter here. And since he went second on his first, he gets to search for three instead of the one. It's pretty good. And he's gonna be able to load up this guy here. All right, yes, we are definitely going for a green. Let's go for a nest ball. Nest Ball and the Wonders Labyrinth. So I'll go ahead and play the Labyrinth. Just to slow down our opponent a little bit. Attach for turn. Go for the Ultra Ball. Get the Mischievous. Play our Dusk Stone for Miss Magius. And we're going to go ahead and Mysterious Message. And we get another Nest Ball. Perfect. That is exactly what we needed. Nest balls go for another broski. And we'll go ahead and fairy saw. So we've already got four energy on the field. That's pretty good. We have an energy switch in hand. Alright. Hmm. He won't be able to one-shot us with the Eevee Snorlax. But it is still quite the Pokemon to be looking out for. Then again, he can also do some damage with the Volcanion. He can do 110 with that. Because if he attacks, he'll definitely meet that requirement. And then the Eevee Snorlax can come in and do the work. But we have Ace of Roll in hand, so that's actually fine. That's perfectly fine. Alright, he went ahead and got his stadium, so Wonders Labyrinth is not going to help us much now. But we tried. wonder what a Reshizard is, though. He actually might just pl be playing a low count, because I, I do see that sometimes, too. To where like, a lot of decks will only have, like, two Reshizards in them. Which again makes sense, because it's a t it's busted, but it's like it's attacks require energy, and it's like it's not the ideal Pokemon to start with. So I do get that. A fiery Flint. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be his strategy there. So just like chip us, chip at us a little bit there, but that's fine. That's gonna be perfectly fine. Because of the Miss Magius, we could play Lieutenant Surge. We've got two more supporters here. Gonna go ahead and go for that. I'm gonna go for the. Mm, actually, no. I almost, I almost did that wrong. I almost went at that wrong. Um. I wanna, yeah, I want to bring him to Eevee Snorlax. Do I want to draw more, or do I try to pick up with it? Uh, if I pick up with it, it's going to be safe, but I'm not 
really gaining energy this turn. I think I need to draw. Alright, so I'll go ahead and do that. Collide a storm. Attach from bench. Alright, so one more turn. Just gotta wait another turn again, another energy. So he would have to retreat, get rid of all that energy to retreat. And that wouldn't benefit him. Yeah, he has a lot of cards in hand, but we know a good amount of them are fire cards. So it's not guaranteed that he has the retreat for this. Because we know at least three to four of those cards are fire. Oh wow, that guy pulled the Rainbow Reggie's arm? Nice! Oh, he had the Guzma. Shoot. That's not good. Definitely gonna be dealing with- what? What? <laughs> oh shoot, he was dead short! Oh! Oh man! Hmm. Yeah, we have to. We got. We gotta get rid of that. So let's go ahead. Collide a storm. Knock him out. And take. Our three prizes. Oh, it does it one at a time now. Ew, I don't like that. Must be one of those new, um, like, you know, like one of those new fixes they did. I don't like that, though. I like that when you knock down a multiple prize Pokemon that you were just able to take it all at once. I really do not like that. Feels awkward and icky. Alright, so at least now he's not going to be able to do too much damage with us, but he is going to get a Lieutenant Surge. So that's also not good. So he's gonna revenge, at least try to revenge and knock us, knock out, knock us out. Mm. What I could do next turn is if I draw into another energy, which I really hope I do. Yeah, I really hope I'm able to like just get into another energy this turn because what I could do next time if I do draw into it, I could just bring up this Reshizard here, do my magical ribbon. Yeah, it's not gonna knock him out, but his hand will be gone, so I don't have to worry about this one outraging me. So he's gonna go for the switch. Yeah, he doesn't even really need the boost with that. Just literally anything's gonna do it. Alright, so we definitely don't want to attack that, because that outrage will just obliterate us. If I can get lucky enough... Or honestly, if I get lucky... If it even would be even luckier is if I top deck a Lieutenant Surge. Um, how many mischievous do I have? This, yeah, okay, I only have one Miss Magius. Alright, so we're just gonna try to thin out our hand here a bit. We'll go ahead and go for Miss Magius. They weren't able to get it. I don't even have any energy in here, so I can't even Diantha. I mean, I could Diantha, but for what? I'd be wasting my supporter, so... I... Oh, I hate that so much. Alright, let's go for the... Light of Storm. Not gonna move any of the energy. Man, what you heartbreaking for? Honestly, with that big of a hand, he... Yeah, exactly. 
Shut up, man. You didn't even there was no need for that heartbreak. Alright, so he's not knocking us out with the flare strike, but he's, he'll definitely do it with the double blaze. Okay, never mind, he's knocking us out with the flare strike. Alright. Not too bad though. Happens sometimes. And that's gonna go ahead and be the end of game number one. Alright, guys, game number two. Well, I feel like we'll have better luck this time. I definitely feel it. Lost the coin flip. Not a great first start, but honestly, I found out I win more co I win more games I actually lose the flipping. Surprising, I know, but. Alright. And sorry if you guys are hearing a dog in the background. That's our dog, Sonic. Cute little guy, but never knows when to stop barking. Then again, it's actually been storming here these past few days. Alright, so he went ahead. Mars and maybe pitch a Lieutenant Surge. But I end up getting the um, dust stone. Okay, I didn't get the dust stone, so that's not too bad. But still, that would have been gross overall. Oh no, wait, that is still gross because I had green. Oh no, wait, I couldn't do it this turn, anyways. Okay, so I still have two other. I still have two Miss Magnus in there. Plus the one in my hand, so at least not a prized. That's definitely a good thing. Um, do I want to go from this labyrinth? Yeah, I do actually. Go ahead and play that. Play the Dust Stone. Go right from Miss Magius. Go ahead, Mysterious Message. And we whiff on an energy. Oh no! RIP! Oh man. Oh wow, so you just draw a pass. But that's actually good for us, so I'm not gonna complain very much. Yeah, I can go ahead, Lily. Ooh, I actually want that there. And we'll go ahead, Fairy Song. Attach both to our bench, God of War Sylveon. Alright, now things are picking up for us a little bit. Just whipping on that first turn. Didn't exactly help us, but I feel the Wonders Labyrinth is going to help us a little bit. Crushing Hammer. Eee. That's actually fine. It's actually perfectly fine. Plumeria? Okay, maybe that's not so fine. What is this guy playing? Alright, let's go ahead and go for the Lieutenant Surge. Hate to use this on only two, but we need our fair energy back ASAP. So I went ahead for the Lieutenant Surge. I'm gonna go for the Mysterious Message. I'm gonna get a fairy energy, thank goodness. Attach there. Bench. Let's go for the Green's Exploration. Let's get an energy switch. And let's go ahead and get. Let's go ahead and get another greens. So now that I know what this guy's playing, I want to make sure my active is ready. Let's go for Fairy Song. Now I'll attach the two here. Hopefully, if he does decide to bring up to at least bench another Pokemon, like either this guy has like the weirdest stall deck I've ever seen, or he's dead drawing even worse than us. Like seriously, what is this? Like Tapu Lele Wall? I don't get it. 
Like, it's not just me, right, guys? I don't get this deck. Alright, so let's go, go for another Fairy Song. And we'll go ahead and attach the two energy there. He already got rid of two Plumera. And I've never seen a deck r run three to four of those cards. At least, at least for me personally. Okay, so he does, he does have another Pokemon. And it's gonna be a Charmander. Oh, wow, so this guy's playing the Charizard deck. But still, that took him forever to get his stuff out. All right, so we'll go ahead and attach there. Fairy Song, no more energy. Ooh. All right, that's fine. That's honestly perfectly fine. We just need to switch this energy over here, and then we can still get the full benefits of our magical ribbon. <gasps> no, not another Plumera, no! Ooh. We have a Guzma, it's okay. You know what? We just need to we just need to take the knockouts here. Just trying to set up for a nice, cool, magical ribbon here, but this guy's not letting us do it. So three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I guess we do still have one more pri one more energy in our prize, but like. If this really was the whole Charizard from Team Up, then why was there so much energy removal in it? That deck's just more focused on anything just powering itself up. Just to do the knockouts. That honestly surprised me a bit. But he's gonna go ahead and get another Lele, which in turn is gonna get him a whole fresh hand. So we magical ribbon to do this, and be knocked out. It's not gonna shuffle his hand, unfortunately. And a cube. What is this guy playing? Cubone slammed it. What am I looking at here, guys? I honestly don't know what I'm even looking at. Um. Let's go ahead and get Acer Roll and Energy Switch. I wasted that Energy Switch. I'm an idiot. I am a gigantic idiot. Light a storm. Mm. Uh, actually, this is fine. So I can move everything there. The Lele's won't be doing much damage. I can just ace a roll up, pick it up again, and just keep going back to what I was doing. So, th this is fine. We can make this work. Meantime, he's gonna be powering up another Lele. That's perfectly fine. Crushing Hammer. I don't care at this point. Like, our six energy magical ribbons already ruined. So, that's fine. We just, we just need enough for the Kaleida Storms. And technically, we do have enough magical ribbon, which is three energy. But yeah, all that good stuff. All right, so Guzma, oh, I, s I so wish I had a Lieutenant Surge in hand right now. So I'll go ahead and pick up this Gardevoir. Promote bench. Let me pick one. Okay, then we, we can go ahead and shuffle them back. 
go ahead and shuffle all those back. Let's go for the Kaleidostorm. In case we do end up getting that final energy, I want to just make sure because there's not much of a chance for me pulling off the six energy magical ribbon now. So we just did not start very good. But we got this. So he's got that there. Mars, I don't care. And the support, so we're gonna worry about another weird plumera. Oh my actually, yeah, that was three. So he's playing a fire energy denial with and he just surrendered to us. Oh well. Very odd. One meta deck and one very odd deck that we faced today. Unfortunately, guys, I hate to end it on this, but this is unfortunately all the time I have for today. This video. Let me just. I want to sell, okay, there we go. Load up for it. Expand anything. I'll be doing an update on this list sometime. Because there is, like I said, there is quite a few things you could do with this deck. But unfortunately, schedule's pretty tight for this week. As far as everything goes, so this, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you did like this video, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, like, and comment down below. And stick around next time for more deck profiles and battles on PTCGO. So with that, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. See you all next time.